Hi everyone, my name's Rhiannon from Blue Dog Board Games. Today I'm going to do a solo playthrough of Arc Nova. Beautiful zoo building game. Now I'm going to actually just do the base game solo. I am very much aware that there is a bot solo created by a board game geek user. Um, it's nicknamed Arno, which is absolutely fabulous and does a really good job of simulating a multiplayer game. But the solo in the box, uh, if I'm honest, I really like it, I really enjoy it, so I don't really have a problem with it. Um, but also it just plays an awful lot faster, so it's just a bit more suitable for the time I have today. So I hope you enjoy my playthrough today, and we are all set up, ready to go. So let's get started. So the solo in the base game uh, takes place over a set number of rounds. So at the end of every single turn, I take, I'm going to slide one of these counters to the right hand side. And then once we get to the bottom, we have like a simulated break. It's not the same as a break in a multiplayer game, uh, for them anyway. We do most of the same steps. Um, and then the top token will be removed from the game completely. And so every round, you will have um, one less go to take until the game ends when only two tokens are left and they're slid to the right. And then we go to final scoring. So basically, this is much more of a race than a multiplayer game maybe. Um, unless you've got like a really aggressive um, person when you, who you're playing against. So we have a very limited amount of time to get our counters to cross, otherwise we're going to end up with a negative score at the end of the game. But we'll, we'll give it a shot today, see how far we can get. Uh, so my two final scoring uh, criteria that I've got at the moment, uh, so research zoo, so I can gain conservation at the end of the game for research icons in my zoo, and favourite zoo, so I can gain conservation for the reputation of my zoo. So the reputation's up here and the conservation are the green segments along the outside. And the conservation projects that we have, just in case you can't see them properly, there's so much on the table that it's really, really difficult to actually fit it all in. Um, and we've got reptiles in our zoo, America icons in our zoo, and Asia icons in our zoo. So let's see what we can make of this. So I take the first turn of the game. Um, I have tried to get a couple of, or keep the cards from a couple of Asia um, continent, the Asian continent. I've got us the sponsor card as well. Um, now I'm going to play with the, the rules that have just been slightly amended in the last couple of days, officially. Um, so it says maximum 25 appeal here on this sponsor card, but uh, in a solo game they recommend you sort of start at around appeal 20. So that doesn't give you a lot of time to play the cards, so um, you add 20 to whatever the maximum appeal is saying on the card. So I can play this as long as I have an appeal less than 45. So we'll, we'll treat it like that. So let's see what we want to do first of all. Okay, I'm thinking I want to get in with the association action. My association action's on four, and one of my animals that I have requires um, the at least one icon with Asia on in my zoo. So I think I'm going to actually do the, the association action. So I'm going to go here and pick up that partner zoo. And then that's one of my actions. It'll also decrease the cost of him. So then all of my icon, uh, all of my cards shuffle down and that gets placed in space number one. The space that it's in one to five um, determines how strong the action that you take is. I forgot to say as well, the map that I've chosen today, um, I've got the ice cream parlour, so if I cover all the spaces with the kiosk symbol on, um, I get an income, so gain one extra income for each kiosk. So now we've taken our action, we slide one counter to the right, and then it's our action again. It's really, really simple to run, it's great. I think I want to build so I want to build this one really because he's got an enclosure size of three. That would be really good to sort of get him in. I forgot to get my money at the beginning of the game. You have 25 coins. <laughs> yeah, let's build. So um, I can build an enclosure of a maximum size of three because that's the strength of my action. And um, the size of the enclosure, I want to build one of size three. You have to double the cost of it. So it, mine costs six. So I'm going to get 14 back and grab a size 3 enclosure. Now this Japanese macaque, he wants to be by a water tile, so I think I'm going to place him 
and your first placement has to be next to the edge of the map somewhere. So I'm going to go here and grab, no, I'm going to go up here, I think, grab one of the X tokens. X tokens, you can have a maximum of five and they can be spent at any time to increase the strength of your action by one per X you trade in. Good. That moves to the side. All right, now I want to, ideally I want to build something else, but I think we're going to now play an animal. Yeah, so let's play an animal. So I'm going to play this Japanese macaque from my hand. Uh, we've got an enclosure size three next to some water. He's gonna cost me 18, but I have the partner zoo. So he's actually only gonna cost me 15. And then he can go in my zoo. Now he gives me seven appeal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he gives me a special power. In the solo game, you ignore, uh, if there's like a, a blue box at the bottom, you ignore the main text on the white part of the card. And um, there's like a slightly different power that they give you. So I've got sprint too, so I can draw two cards from the deck, which is quite nice. Oh, and we've got a conservation project. Release one bird into the wild. And I've actually just drawn a bird. Um, I want to try and build this enclosure with the idea that I can because I'm running out of money quite quickly, with the idea that I can then um, play him into my zoo next time we break. So I'm going to do this build action again and build an enclosure size of two. So that's gonna cost me four coins. That's all of my money. <laughs> and now you have to build adjacent to where you've been before. Now he doesn't actually want anything, he's not very fussy, uh, so I can, uh, you just have to grow from where you, you've already gone. So I think I'm actually going to go here, because then that's going to give me a kiosk to place, which will start generating money for me. Sorry, I um, have filled this enclosure, so when they're filled you flip it around the other way. So yeah, I'm going to go here and get a kiosk. And then, where do I want my kiosk? Let's pop him. Let's pop him here. No, let's pop him over here. Good. And that one goes back to spot number one. Now, I've got a lot of cards and I'm not gonna be able to do lots with them because I've got no money and I've got no person there's always a bit of a slow start in this game, I find. So you have really little money and really little resources, like your people, um, to use at the beginning of the game. And yet there's quite a lot of rounds, and so I'm not really moving anywhere. Um, but then it does escalate quite quickly towards the end of the game. Sometimes, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna look to see, because we've got this up here, the cards action. Um, is there anything that we want to snap? Snapping in this game is an action that you can do which basically means you can take a card from the display um, no matter what your reputation range is. So my reputation is only on space one at the moment which means if I'm drawing within reputation range I'm only choosing from this card here. Usually you can you may push up and then you can choose within your reputation range which may be three or more cards for example but snapping it, you just disregard whatever reputation you have, you could just choose whatever. So uh, I don't really know if there's anything useful. I mean this anaconda could be quite good for us because that's going to be, a, he's a reptile and he's got the America's icon. So I, I might consider snapping. I have got a lot of cards here but some of them won't be useful for a little while and I might just have to sacrifice some of them. Yes, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to snap. So I'm going to get him into my hand, push this all the way down. 
and then at the end of your turn these all go down as well and you replenish or northern giraffe I haven't seen that one before the deck of cards in this game is just huge so <laughs> there's probably quite a few cards that I've never seen and I've played this game quite a lot I say that please don't have too high an expectation of me <laughs> I probably won't do too well I took this card at the beginning of the game thinking it was going to be really good to complement with my research um, end of game scoring criteria but it gives you an automatic conservation per research icon you have maybe I should have um I really should have used my association worker perhaps to get the double research icon first then I could have played this um, I don't have any more people right now to use and I can't push up enough to do anything useful I still have no money <laughs> okay we're gonna get some money then so I'm not looking to play a sponsor card anytime soon so I'm going to break for five break it's break x and x is the strength of the action that you're at so I'm breaking for five gain five coins usually in a multiplayer game that would move the break token down the um, further, this is the break track, the further you go down this track the closer you are to breaking which is when you sort of discard cards, refresh the board a little bit and do various bits like that. You also gain your income during that phase. I've only got one turn left this round which is good because I'm you know out of money and <laughs> what I might do then is plan to um, I can play you next time and I want to ideally play either the snake or the owl. I think I might go for the snake. I will need a partner zoo with him in America's but that won't be a bad idea anyway because that's going to give us another icon there. That would be really good. So I'm actually going to build an enclosure is size two, so that costs four coins. And he wants to be by at least one water space. So that's quite perfect, actually. And I don't think I want to actually push down anything right now. I'm so, I don't really have a choice about that though. I could do it like this. Oh, I don't really know. That makes it all a bit awkward. Yeah, I don't want to push down anything. This icon here allows you to um, select a card somewhere and put it into slot one. And I actually want this card in slot five. I want to be able to play my animals in a minute as well. So I don't think that's going to really benefit me, so I won't do that. Okay, there we go. So we're at the fresh break. So what happens now is this gets um, removed from there. He actually puts this on the first donation space, blocking that off. And we shift all of these to the right hand side. And that's literally all the upkeep that we need. It's amazing. That's it. <laughs> um, us, on the other hand, we need to follow all of these bits. It's all a bit strange, it's backwards, so we have to discard down to three cards. I want you, I want you, and I think I'm gonna have to be a little bit brutal. I mean, this, this guy, I'm allowed to play him now because he needs two Asian icons. I've got an Asian icon here and I've got the partner zoo. So maybe I will go for him. Yes, I'm going to keep him, which is a shame because I wanted to keep the the card, the um, conservation card, but there we go. I don't have any birds right now. I will have a bird there. Maybe I should try and keep that to get my conservation up. No, no, we're not going to. I can focus on these. These are going reasonably well at the moment. <laughs> So we've got three cards. We can increase our hand size that we discard down to um, by getting this, this pile here. Um, it's got the five on it. So I might think about getting that at some point soon. 
Uh, we then remove any like multiplier tokens or any other tokens that we have on cards, but we don't have anything. We then take back our association workers. Uh, usually we would replenish all the tiles that have been taken on the board, but I'm only playing with myself, so I don't need to replenish it because I can't get more than one partner zoo from the same continent. And then we discard the plus two cards in the market area. And then we gain our income. So our base income is according to our appeal. So I'm on 19 at the moment. So I've actually got an appeal of 27, but that sort of corresponds to your income on the outside. So that's 19. You then look, may have some income modifiers from up here. You also gain income from um, your kiosks according to how many buildings that are filled um, are adjacent to it. So I've only got one filled building at the moment, so he only generates one coin for me. So that's a total of 20. You may also gain coins from sponsor cards you play, but I haven't played very any sponsor cards and I've just discarded one of those that I kept from the beginning hand. Um, so that's it, that's um, how you play one round of the game and then we continue until the end of the game. Okay, I'm going to do the association action to go here and grab the partner zoo in the Americas which means I can place that there and then that's that triggers our first upgrade of an action. Ooh um now what do we want? What does this do? That will allow me to gain reputation and play cards for within reputation range. Uh, the thing is, I always try and favour the association action. I find it really powerful because you can start making donations. You can play. You can trigger quite a few bonuses by waiting for some conservation cards to come in, come down, and basically support conservation card over there, and then you can com uh, support conservation project from over there. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. So I've upgraded my first card. It just basically gives you additional actions you can do or um, improves the action you can do. So you may be able to pick cards directly from the display or play them directly instead of bringing them into your hand first. So that's our first go. I am now going to Ideally, I want to play, I was going to say I ideally want to play you, but I would need to buy an enclosure first and then that's going to chip away at my money quite a lot. So I'm going to ignore you for now. <clears throat> I'm going to select the animals card and because it's strength five, I can play two from my hand. So I'm going to try and focus on playing both of you. I have discounts of three because I've got the partner zoo. So um, that is a total of uh, nine for you and 10 for you. So 19 in total. So basically all of my money gone again. At least I'm being efficient with my money. <laughs> uh, so uh, you want to go in any old enclosure. So you can go in this one. And you want to be in either the reptile center. I don't have the reptile center or in a size two enclosure, um, got that upside down, next to some water. So that's perfect, there we go. So let's activate these. So you give me five appeal, one, two, three, four, five. And I can draw one card from the deck. Oh yes, release one animal with an Africa icon into the wild. I might try and do that just to really fast track my um, conservation. Um, and then activate this one. So you give me six appeal, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got the clever action. After the current action, you may place any action card on number one. Oh yes, that's pretty good, I think, because I could do this. I don't think I want any more cards right now. Let 
There we go. It's funny in this game because you think of it like a zoo building game, but in reality you are just collecting the icons on all the animals, so you can just lay them all on top of each other. You don't need to see any of the bits anymore, really. I just want to see what icons I have in my zoo. So I'm a bit light on cards. I've just put my um, uh, cards card <laughs> over on the weakest side, but that was intentional because I think I'm going to try and get him into my zoo soon. And then I can start to think about supporting some conservation projects. I really want my first, I, I really want to be able to get some more people. I'm not actually convinced that I wanted to um, push that cards card over there. I think I might reverse it, you know. Is that naughty? It, I'm going to be naughty. So it was like that. I chose that one. I'm going to choose the build card instead to push to number one. It's a solo game. You're allowed to cheat, right? <laughs> to be fair, I haven't actually done anything yet. So I'm going to snap because I really want to play this card. I also want to gain an ex-partner zoo somewhere, um, which means I can pick up the African one, which allows me to play him. Then I should be able to release him into the wild and gain the five from here, because this to get five conservation points, I need an animal that needs an enclosure of a size four or more. So I'm gonna snap this guy. Then I'm going to break for five. And then I'm going to, um, how much money have I got? I'm going to try and build his enclosure. So maximum size of three. So that costs me six coins. And he doesn't have any special requirements, so I think I might... Again, I don't really want to go here because that's going to push a card to space number one, and I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to go here, and that's going to get me another pavilion. Not pavilion, a kiosk. And then I'm going to pop that one here. Or shall I put that over there? I'm going to pop that one over there. It's going to gain me more income over the time, so um, I don't get any money for that right now. One more go. Okay, I don't think there's technically anything that I really want to do right now. I haven't refreshed this. I, I just need money. Hmm. So I think I'm just going to dither around a little bit. I can't, I have only got one money so I can't even build like a kiosk or something. So I'm just gonna break for two. That's such a wasted round. But that pushes that back out the way. I don't have any sponsor cards and um, allows us to break. So he goes and donates. We really need to push our conservation up. <laughs> so now we follow this again. So I've only got three cards, so I don't need to discard anything. No tokens. We get our person back, which is fabulous. Discard these two. Release one reptile into the wild. That could bonus so well with this. But it's going to just come a bit too early in the game, I think. We'll see. Uh, I've only got one reptile. I'm about to play my second. <laughs> Maybe it's one that I could get in early with. Anyway, income. So I've got 22. 
And then I gained some from my kiosks a little bit more now. So I've got uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So that's more like it. Just gonna take the 30. And that's it. Okay, um, I'm gonna get in straight away with this one. So before one or more different association actions, I'm going to go and pick up this partner zoo because um, this is going to allow me to pop this here. Some actions are sort of restricted by whether you've upgraded the card or not. So for example, I could not have gained another partner zoo unless I'd upgraded this association action and I have. So I can now get to four association zoos, partner zoos if I want to. And that gives me an extra person. In addition, I may make one donation. Um, let me think, do I want to do that? I want to be playing you, so you're going to be costing me 11. Yeah, I've got loads of money and I need to start generating some conservation. So I'm going to be spending five to support a nice cause. And that gives me one conservation. And you may play conservation project cards from within reputation range with additional costs, but I'm only on reputation one at the moment and there's not a conservation card there. I really need to get a move on. So I think now I'm just going to play um, one animal so i'm going to play him for 11 coins five six seven eight nine and he gives me only two reputation uh, appeal and again one appeal for each asia icon in all zoos so yeah that's a little bit of a an underwhelming one for a solo play because then you could be looking at four people's um, Asian icons in their zoo but there we go so I it the cards count themselves so I've got one Asia icon two and three so I gain an extra three okay and you mister wanted to go you're not fussy so you can go in there Right, I want to build this guy's enclosure. So I'm going to go here and that's going to cost me eight. Size four enclosure. And then I think now I am going to stick that one here. So I gain an X. And I also can push a card to space number one. Now, let me think about it. <laughs> do I want to do that? Yes, I am going to. I'm not going to be able to afford to play this guy right now. So I'm going to push him over there just to increase my building value a little bit. May as well. It's a free action. Okay. So let's think about supporting a conservation project. We're a little bit keen on it. I would prefer to sort of wait around a little bit more and get some more conservation, but we don't want to wait too long because, you know, once you push up certain places, you get extra bonuses. They're just going to accelerate the game faster. And so I think we just need to move it. <laughs> so we've got three Asia icons. So I think this is like a threshold. So it goes two, four and five. I think I might try and hold out for the four on that one. America's, again, that's two, four and five. I've got three. So I might hold out for that one as well. But the reptiles, I'm on two. I don't have another reptile in hand. For the saltwater crocodile, he's gonna give me two reptile icons, but 
he's really expensive to play and he needs a partner zoo in Australia which I'm not going to get for another like round or two so I think I'm going to work on backing this reptile project and then look to releasing one of the reptiles later in the game which means <laughs> I want money so I can play this monkey and then release him again as well. So I think maybe I will just get some money. Let's get some money. I'm gonna break four. And now what I'm going to do is this, and I'm going to increase its power to five. So I'm going to perform one or more association actions. So I'm going to go and support a conservation project. When you do that, you select one of these down the side uh, to remove your counter from and then place that on the, the area of the association card. Um, some of them give you, or all of them give you an instant bonus and some of them give you like an income bonus as well. Now, what do I want? I think I want um, a steady, bigger income. So I'm going to take this one, which gives me an instant five coins. And then every income round, I'm going to get an extra five. So I pop that one over here and that gives me two conservation points this allows me to get a bonus so I think I'm gonna flip a card which card do I want to flip I think it's a tie between the build and the animals I'm gonna go for the build because I'm starting to encroach on these areas I'm going to need the upgraded build card in order to get there. Okay. And then, in addition, you may make one donation, and they cost seven now. I'm absolutely going to do that. So uh, I take that from my supply, not this area here. And that gains me an extra one. And there's no conservation projects within range, so I can't play them. And now we break. So you go over there. Ooh, we really do need to hurry up. Uh, so I need to discard down to three cards. I already have plenty. My people come back. These two cards disappear. Hopefully now we've started things moving a little bit. That'll, um, they'll move faster. <laughs> Hopefully, my income is now on 23, so 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, plus 5, so 33. Good, so we've got money, got money. I'm going to snap. I'm getting conscious that I said that I want to try and push for the 4 um, icons of the same type here and I've got no plan to do so. So I'm actually going to grab this little guy, Cotton Top Tamarin, so you can be my fourth America's icon. I think that might be a good idea. We'll see soon enough. Um, now I think I want to, I might build so I can look to play both of these guys in a minute. So yes, I'm going to build one or more different buildings now. So I'm going to build an enclosure of size one. So that's going to cost me two. And you can actually come down here Oh, I need um, 
to research icons. I'll deal with that in a minute. So that's actually going to give me five coins back. And then I can still build enclosure sizes of up to four because um, my strength of this action is five. So what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to therefore play pay six to get an enclosure size of three to place that here, which means I can draw a card from the deck or within reputation range. I'm going to draw a card within reputation range. I can still build something, so I am going to build a kiosk or pavilion. Let's go for a kiosk. And that allows me to actually draw another card from reputation range, which I didn't want to do, but there we go. Ah, I don't have another one, so that's fine. That, um, that's on a reputation range of two, which I don't have. And um, it doesn't get like, pushed down until the end of your turn. So that's me done there. I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> Can't blame me for trying though. Let's play animals from my hand. So what I'm going to do is, I can't play you. I'm going to play you. Um, so you're going to cost me 17. And you can sit in this little enclosure here. You are going to give me eight appeal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After finishing the current action, you may perform the cards action. I'll think about that in a second. Now, I think I might play him as well. I wanted to play you, but I can't. Because I don't have the requirement of the two research icons. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do a reasonable go in a minute. So I'm going to play you, and you're going to cost me 10. Oh, I'm going to keep these separate because I'm going to forget the bonuses in a minute. So you're going to give me 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm really sorry if this is now off the screen. <laughs> and then that says, after finishing the current action, you may place any action card on number 1. So let's do this step by step. So this moves down. After finishing, I may perform the cards action. I may as well. So as it's strength three, I can draw two and discard one. I'm gonna discard the petting zoo wallaby. And then, see so you're done now. And then after finishing the current action, you may place any action card on one. Ooh. I'm going to be doing that then. Good. Okay, I think it's coming together. And that little guy, the mantled greaser. Not heard of them. They're cute. So now I'm going to do the association action. Perform one or more different association tasks with a maximum total of X, so five. I'm going to just go for one of them now. I'm not dithering around anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. Um, I've got... I'm probably more likely going to be playing you. So I'm going to go for Asia now. Um, let's go for three X's. They can be really useful. And I've got one, two, three Asia icons, so I can only go on the two space. So that gives me two. Conservation. I can take any one of these bonuses. Um, what do I want? 
I'm going to take the money. And then it says, in addition, you may make one donation. I'm going to spend that money immediately <laughs> to make a donation. And you may play conservation project cards from within reputation range with additional costs. So this is what I was working up towards and it has worked out. So, <gasps> within reputation range. It's not within reputation range. Oh no. Oh no. That's because I was thinking of playing this guy. <laughs> oh my god, I really screwed that one up. That's really funny. You know what then? Hold on, I'm gonna reverse it slightly. Reverse, reverse. So, I undo my donation. I get 10 back, push back on there. I reverse this, so I have not donate, um, supported this, which pushes this back, which then, um, Does this, this, and it does that. Right. Now, where was I? I am doing a association task. I am supporting a conservation project. I'm going to support this one. Because <laughs> they're from my hand, they go at the top. I'm going to release an animal with an Africa icon into the wild. Now, this does, this is what I was doing. I'm back where I should be. This does push up my reputation. Woo! Right, okay. And I have got an animal that is of African origin to release. So I'm going to release the collared manga bee into the wild, which means because he's not there anymore, I have to minus eight from my appeal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is fine. So that's now vacant. He goes into the discard pile. I'm going to take, surprise, surprise, three, oh, three X icon from there to support him, which is going to give me five conservation. One, two, three, four, five. That's better. I'm going to take the 10 coins from that bonus. And what bonus do I want here? I think we're actually going to take this to increase the reputation because in a moment we're going to need to d discard one of our final scoring cards and now I haven't managed to sort of gain any research icons in my zoo at all as of yet but I'm nearly at the first scoring criteria for reputation so I think I might just push for that. I don't know whether that's silly. Anyway. And then, in addition, you may make one donation. I'm going to donate the 10. That goes there, which pushes one up. And so I'm, we now have to discard one of our final scoring criteria. So I'm going to discard this one and just focus on reputation. Sorry if the lighting's just gone a bit weird. I have had to draw the curtains because it's such a lovely sunny day and it's all reflecting all over the table. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we've just finished our association action, so let's push that over there. Whew, okay, um, right. So, what are we doing now? I'm, I'm considering whether I want to actually do this association action again and use all of my X tokens to make it a strength five so I can release a primate. No, I won't because this card's not gonna disappear. You only discard these two. I could do this one, but I'm thinking I want to keep my reptiles realistically because I want their Asia and America's icons. So what I think I might do is hold fire just slightly and I might try and get some research icons so I can play this tamarind and then that would give me another America's icon. 
and I don't, I therefore don't want to snap or take anything from the deck. So, do I want to build instead? Maybe. Yeah, I think I might build. So I'm going to build just for the sake of it. <laughs> No, no, we're not going to do that. It's wasting money. We're going to draw cards from the deck. So I'm drawing three from the deck. And we have to discard one. Ooh, requires large animals in my zoo. I have zero. So you're going to be discarded. And I'll deal with you guys in a bit. What's this? Each time you play a Europe icon into your zoo, you may build a one space enclosure for free. Probably not going to be doing Europe. Okay. Break. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've got very little time left. We need to hurry up. So we are um, discarding down to three cards. I don't think... Okay, we're going to get rid of you because we're not going to be playing you. Um, then we take back everyone, discard these two. I really need to get going on these conservation projects. Income, so I've got 25, um, plus 5, so 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. I'm going to take 40 and pay 3. So we've got plenty of money. <sighs> but the question is, how do I get to do what I need to do? Um, I'm going to build an enclosure of size 5 with the idea that I'm going to play this vulture. So he doesn't have any special requirements. Um, so I can place this one here. I'm just going to double check what that icon means. I think that means I can play sponsor cards. I don't know whether that's within Reputation Ranger, or is it just from my hand for the cost? Let me just check. You may play a sponsor card from your hand by paying X money where X is the level of the card. So I don't actually have any sponsor cards in my hand, so that's fine, I won't do that. There we go, so that's one go. Now, I think I want to we really really need to go and support a project like now <laughs> so if I if I get you into play that's giving me one two three four so then that I can push up here yeah let's do that I think I don't want to dither around anymore so I'm going to play a card from my hand, so you're going to cost me 13 to play. Which means you live in this enclosure. So I gain 6 appeal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, I can play another one, but I don't have an enclosure. Um, I don't have two research icons, it's a bit of a shame, and I don't have an enclosure of size one next to a rock. So I can't. But anyway, it's fine. It wouldn't have given me much extra anyway. This guy would have, but I just don't have the time, I don't think, to dither around getting those research icons. So he gives me the scavenging three. Shuffle the discard pile and draw three cards from it. Keep one and discard the others. So, shuffle the discard and draw three cards. Keep one and discard the others. So, one, two, three. 
large animals in my zoo. I've still only got one large animal, so he's a bit pointless. And I'm unlikely to be able to play you and I don't have a petting zoo. Well, these aren't very useful. I'll keep this one then. Okay, so that's that go. Oh, we are so close to the end. <laughs> I'm just not gonna get there. Um, right, so if I wanna play this one, you're gonna give me four conservation. If I wanna play you, you're gonna give me three. So I may as well play this one. So I'm going to select this, power you up to be a five. So I may play conservation project cards cards within reputation range, within additional cost. So you're gonna cost me one because you are in folder one. So let's budge you up and play you. So you're gonna give me one reputation, which means I can flip a card. I might flip the animals now. Release one primate into the wild. So I'm going to select you. Uh, so size three enclosure. And I have to minus six. What's this? Seven. Yeah, good, good choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're going backwards. <laughs> That's okay. Don't panic. So... This means I can draw something, or I can select one of these. I didn't put my person over there. I don't really feel like another person's gonna be useful right now. They might be, because then I can work towards that reputation of two. So I'm gonna go for another person. And I have released one of size three or more, three or less. So I gain four conservation. Okay. In addition, you may make one donation. I'm going to, it's pricey now, but I need to. <laughs> so it's costing me 12. Yeah, see, it really ramps up, like the end of the game comes so quickly and you just don't have enough time to do what you want. But you know, it's a, it's a really fun experience. It's, um, it's very different to the multiplayer game, but it still gives you the arc and over experience and, in a less, in much less time. Uh, so I think that's it for me. I think that's it. Oh, that, that was stressful. Okay, there we go. So we are now breaking. So we've got two goes left. So just got down to three, everything comes home. These guys disappear. And income. So I've got 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36. I don't need money now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's that. Oh my god, this has not gone well. So I need both reputation and I need to support another conservation project. So the best thing for me to do that would be to, so I need, this will have to be my last action because it's only on strength one. I've only got three of these, so that'll be strength four. I haven't got time to play you. This is only gonna give me more money. I don't really want more cards, I don't think. I could maybe look to tell you what one, two, three, four, 
five, what I could do, do I have an enclosure for this little guy? I do. I could potentially, I think that might be our best shot. He's only going to give us three appeal. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to play cards within reputation range. So I'm gonna play this little guy. So it says with additional costs, so he's gonna cost me 10, but then I minus that extra three because I've got the partner zoo. So he's gonna cost me seven. So I can play you. You can live in this little enclosure down here. You're gonna give me three. And that's my go. And last go, I'm gonna use this association action, power it up as much as I can to a power of five. Let's go and support a conservation project. Now I did that last turn, these guys need to shuffle down, because he is gonna give me my last Asia icon. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to support this project here and I've just checked what the pouch ability is because I don't see that one very often. I'm going to pouch two cards so it says you may place up to x cards so two cards from your hand below this card so I'll just stick them over here somewhere. Gain two appeal per card placed so let's get rid of both of you so I gain four appeal. I'll just discard them then or if anything now. Okay, and I'm placing you on this. So that gives me five conservation. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, we are so close. I don't think we're gonna do it though. In addition, you may make one donation. Now this has an infinity symbol by it, so we can donate. I'm absolutely going to in a last ditch attempt to win. So that pushes up one. And that's it. There we go. Yeah, so I think we're literally, we, we haven't made it. <laughs> so um, yeah, we, we score basically the same as the multiplayer game. So we would have a look at our final scoring criteria. I'm only on reputation of five. I needed reputation of six. So unfortunately I don't gain anything and I don't have any final scoring criteria on any of my cards. I will just double check, just in case. No, I don't. I don't think any of them are on animals anyway. I think they're mostly sponsor cards. Um, but if I'm honest, that was that. I, if I could have one more turn, I think I would have got there because I could have supported this. I just dithered around a little bit too much. But um, yeah, it was close. So yeah, what what's the score really? So my target was 64. I was on 56. So I needed an extra eight points. I'm on minus eight. But um, that's not too bad. That's um, could have been a lot worse. So yeah, that was um, it's a, pr a pretty rushed game. It's, it's very um, intense, but I actually really like the challenge of doing that. It's, um, it's a very different experience from the multiplayer game, but it's a really, really interesting one. Uh, so um, join me again in a minute and I will let you know my final thoughts on Ark Nova. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough and thank you very much for watching. So, a uh, few thoughts on Ark Nova. I feel a little bit uh, skewed in my opinion on this game just because I am a huge animal lover. There is no way that I could not like this game, basically. So, I'll just state that out front. Keep that in mind that as long as you know that I just love animals and I will love anything to do with animals, we're all good. So um, moving on from there then, uh, the main theme of this game is obviously building up your zoo and gaining animals and puffing your animals in your zoo, but I think one of the main things that sort of takes people out of the experience is the fact that you're not actually doing anything with the animals. The animals that you actually play don't really give any sort of, give anything to your zoo, so it's not like Zoo Tycoon, the, the video game. You are basically just set collecting icons and um, so that may detract from the theme for some people, but 
quite frankly, the artwork for all the animals everywhere in this game is absolutely enough to f tick every box for me. I think this game is absolutely fantastic and it is one of my favourite games of all time. I mean, um, you've probably heard people singing its praises left, right and centre. I mean, it's, it's Tom Vassell's top game of all time at this moment in time. Love him or hate him, you have to respect his opinion because he's probably played more games than most people have put together. But, in, you know, and that sort of speaks for itself, it really is an absolutely clean, polished, brilliant game. Now, I know that some people don't like the <laughs> the fact that the deck is so big and so it is quite dependent on what cards come out. I mean, I, I have got half of the deck off the screen. You didn't even see half of it. It's, it's huge. Um, but quite frankly, I don't really, I've never found that too much of a problem. I mean, I think maybe it is slightly more of a problem in the solo game because it, you are so tight in time, but in a multiplayer game, I think that balances out, you know, p other people are going to have criteria that they're trying to, um, to, to get with their own private objectives and um, their cards might not come out, but you know, you've got your uh, conservation projects, which are shared information. So, you know, if, if none of those cards are coming out on the display at any one time, then they're not going to come out for anyone either. So. I don't really feel like that's too much of a problem and I think you just need to play to your your the strengths that are out on the board at that moment in time. If you're not finding the right the right icons then concentrate on something else, you know. <laughs> I love the fact that there's so many different things you can do in this game. I love the fact that you can um, like go down the route of uh, supporting lots of conservation projects. I do feel like that is slightly overpowered in this game. It really does sort of push you flying into the into the um a scoring criteria so that's maybe a slight negative but other people should be quicker or I should be quicker playing in the solo game um, I love the fact that you can like, collect lots of like, partner universities I didn't in this game but they help you with gain research icons or you can increase your reputation through them and once you gain a certain number of them they give you extra bonuses it gives you an incentive to collect lots of these uh, similar tiles I also love the fact that you have boundaries to like expand uh, your like gaining of the icons in your game. So, for example, I couldn't get the additional partner university um, until I upgraded my association action. I love the fact that everything is so interlinked. It makes it really interesting, and it gives you some really interesting decisions to make in the game because you're not able to upgrade every one of your icons. I think there's a maximum of four out of five cards you can upgrade in your game, so there's always going to be something that you are going to be at some point in the game thinking, I wish I made that decision instead. And that makes it very, very different every time you play and very, very interesting, gives you some crunchy decisions. And um, I, I love that dilemma that you get every single time. So yeah, overall, I would absolutely recommend the solo game out of the base game box. I love the challenge it gives you. I love the challenge of being able to you have a set number of turns so you can predict how long your game is going to be roughly. It is about an hour's long in length. Um, I feel like that is a perfect experience for me. Yes, it's different from the multiplayer game, but I'm not always able to play a two, three hour game. And um, so I will just speak about the Arno variant as well. I have played that with uh, one bot. I played it with two bots as well. I think I may have played it three so a total of four player with three bots, but that gets quite, <laughs> quite long. But um, there's an app that integrates that as well, so you can just log onto a website. The links are all on Board Game Geek, and so that takes a lot of the admin out of it. And it is the I've not played many fan-made solo variants, but it <laughs> that absolutely blew me out of the water. And quite frankly, if I was the designer of the game, I would be trying to get that into the base game. Um, on future printings, I would be paying the money to say, this is fantastic, I want this as a, an additional solo mode in my game, because it simulates the multiplayer game pretty much to a T. It's brilliant, but it does also then um, take on board the extra time as a solo, sorry, as a multiplayer game would do as well. I played a um, two-player game the other day with one Arno bot, and it took me pretty much bang on two hours, so it easily doubles your playing time. So as long as you don't mind that, then that may be the better experience for some people, but 
you know, that, that's obviously another factor that may shut another segment of people out, so that's just something to be aware of. So overall, I absolutely love this game, it is absolutely fantastic, um, I would highly recommend it to absolutely anybody, it is the right crunchiness and length for me and theme is just top notch and I cannot wait to play Zoo Tycoon that's going to be released later on this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, it's meant to be a very different experience but giving you much more of a welfare theme to a zoo building game so I'm very excited to compare the two. You may not want to compare the two but the comparisons are going to be made if it's the same theme. So um, yeah and uh, just one final point as well, the maps are absolutely fantastic. There's quite a few of them in the game, there's only a four player game but you have a good variety to, to choose from. Um, they also are double sided so you have the basic map on one side so beginners can choose that one, it gives you a slight head start. Um, or you can choose the other side which is the advanced variant and they all have different, slightly different powers so mine was, I didn't even activate it in my game but I could have covered all of the kiosk icons and that would have gained me extra income for each kiosk I owned. I was nearly there but not quite. And that just gives additional replayability to this game. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel like I've been gushing about it for forever, so I'll shut up now, but yeah, just buy this game, it's amazing, and I can see myself playing it for many, many years to come. Fabulous. So, thank you very much for watching today, I really hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Ark Nova, and especially the uh, solo variant out of the box. Do let me know what your experiences are of Arno as well. Um, thank you so much to the Board Game Geek user who made that variant, it is fabulous, you are a fabulous person. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!